anyway uh moving on let's do let's talk about target yes. getting rid of physical media uh, retail chain Target has responded to recent reports claiming that it will stop selling physical media, revealing that it will continue to sell physical media, but will limit the number of copies it sells in its retail stores. A Target spokesperson told IGN that the retail chain will be transitioning to limited assortment of DVDs they carry in retail stores. The official website will still offer thousands of titles to customers to purchase. Uh, though the retail stores are pivoting to a more selective approach, in what physical media it carries, a spokesperson told IGN that it will offer select DVDs in its stores uh, when it, uh, sorry, it will offer select DVDs in its stores when it a new release, I guess when it is a new release or during key times throughout the year when they are more popular, such as Black Friday or during an anti-Prime Day sale. Based on our guest shopping patterns and broader industry trends, we are transitioning the limited assortment of DVDs we carry in our stores to Target.com, uh, where guests will continue to find thousands of titles, the spokesperson said. Moving forward, we'll offer select DVDs in stores uh, when they are newly released uh, or during key times throughout the year when they are more popular, like for gift giving during the holidays. The spokesperson also confirmed that this new policy will not impact physical games sold in retail stores. This will only impact physical copies of movies and TV shows. Uh, Target's response comes a day after uh, the Twitter account, the president of physical media <laughs> posted that its sources um, told the account that the retail giant would stop selling physical media in stores and online by next year. Though Target is not entirely abandoning it, the pivot to being more selective in the latest is the latest in a continuing worrying trend for the state of physical media. So we can assume they're still going to sell games for yes. the time being, yeah. uh, just like Best Buy did. I mean, that may, it makes sense. They're going to follow what Best Buy did. They're all yeah, going to do this eventually. But at the same time, like I was just in Target today. Mm. I was in two different Targets, one today and then the different one the other day. And like the the physical media section is like shrinking, like pretty drastically. The DVD section is like literally just an end cap in the back. Yeah. And that's for like everything, new releases and like old stuff. The games, the new releases are in an end cap in the back, barely stocked. The older games they sell, if this one one side of the aisle is PlayStation, the other side of the aisle is Xbox, and they have like the a game per a copy of each game and then that's it and a lot of it's like even like barren so target has never been good for getting anything that's more than like a year old you yeah. know like they're you're only getting popular stuff and new releases yeah um this is only good news for gamestop because <laughs> like Target will continue to sell new releases for like, well, they did they say new releases for movies? I think they said movies. Uh, what do they say? But I'd imagine, I'd imagine games are going to get smaller and smaller, and they'll yeah. only have the new releases uh, eventually. Yeah, they're uh, they're going to have a limited assortment of DVDs. Yeah. Uh, so eventually, this is going to happen with games too. The game section will probably get smaller and smaller, mm -hmm. and uh, they'll probably only have new stuff. And they're just like, now they they only kind of have new stuff, right? Yeah. Now. New and like super popular stuff. Yeah. Uh, fucking, you're going to have to go to GameStop to get uh, your, your physical games. And that's kind of a good thing. <laughs> Is it? Because GameStop sucks. <laughs> it's, I think it's better to have a dedicated store for uh, certain niche yeah, games. You I know? guess. But I think like, at the same time, like, you know, most people either buy their games on Amazon or they download it directly to the console. Yeah. I, I don't like a lot of what GameStop does. Yeah. I don't like how you go in there and you get a cost to buy their subscriptions and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But I like having a dedicated store to go to that right. that I know is going to have the niche thing that I want. Right. I wish, you know, record stores were still a thing. And exactly. I wish, like, yeah. GameStop is the modern record store. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, we we would have projected that GameStop wouldn't exist in like five years, but if these big box retailers keep getting rid of their games or, or making their digital or their physical media smaller and smaller, eventually there's going to be more demand for a place like GameStop. Right. So, uh, I think that I I'm not too upset about th this news, but I'm also like, when was the last time I bought a fucking DVD? I'm not buying DVDs. Right. I'm not I mean, that guy. But like. You know, it starts with DVDs and then it goes to the, the games. games. Yeah, yeah, the games the are thing. next. Yeah. yeah. 
And I do like being able to get a physical game every so often. But yeah. uh, I've... I don't remember the last time I bought a physical game. Anywhere other than some random place in the city. It is a pain in the ass <laughs> to buy games from tar- places like Target because you got to go to the teenager at the kiosk. They got to go over to the case. They got to open the case. They got to get the game. Then you have to buy it in the electronics department. You yeah. can't take it to the register. I'm just not, not like, like shopping around for food and then I'm like, oh, wait, I got to pick up Super Mario Wonder. Right. You know, I'm not doing that. Yeah. Um, I did do that for uh, playing the demo. They had the demo there. Right. And I was like, oh, wait, yeah. I got to play the demo. But like... Uh, for buying games, that's usually something I have planned out way before. Yeah. You know, it's not like an impulse thing. Mm-hmm. I don't need to pick up a game with my groceries. So, I again, I'm not... I mean, it sucks to see less games out there, but I'm not too right. butthurt about Target getting rid of it. I just hope that uh, they're available in some way to people. I just buy my games online. Yeah, if I want a physical one, I usually just order it on Amazon. but. Uh, I haven't done that in so long because I haven't wanted a physical one in so long. Yeah. I've been getting everything on Steam. But, you know, if you're a parent and you want to get a, a game for your kid or like a birthday present or whatever, Target's a place to do it. And like they put the games at eye level so that you yeah. can see them. This so. is news for uh, other people. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm not going to be affected by this at all. Right. But, but if like, you know, right. if our mother who loves buying us things we actually want for Christmas, <laughs> wants to buy us a video game, and she's going through the Target, because you know our mom always shops at Target, and she says, oh, Willie wanted this game. No, but there's What's this the thing. game again? <laughs> I, you know, I say that when I used to do gift guides, I don't think I, did I even do one last year? I don't think you did. When I do gift guides, I say in the very beginning, I don't recommend gifts buying games for people right because people usually know what game they want i would never want our mother to buy a game (laughs) for us (laughs) because she's not gonna know more than us and plus we know what we want already we're gonna have it already right so i mean but i understand that there's people who like uh aren't as into video games as us and they right. they do need some suggestions or like you know at christmas kids usually write a list to santa and then they give the we were the very list. on top of our christmas we were list. yes yeah it was a crapshoot whether or not we got anything on yeah. our list, but we were on top of our list we did a lot yeah. of research for that list there's some kids who don't know what they want right they just they just want a console and then they don't know what games to exactly get. so i understand there's a time and a place for uh recommending games to people for a gift guide but yeah. i think gift cards way better yeah absolutely Instead of getting gift cards or games, it's always like, I know you wanted that game, but you're an adult and you have a job and a mortgage and a wife and kids. So, so I, got you, the, I got you this gift shirt. Card. I got you a shirt. It's two sizes too small, but honestly, you got to stop wearing large shirts. You got to start wearing smaller shirts that make your gut like really prominent. That's ima- what's in. I'd imagine the opposite conversation. No, like she always wants me to wear like shirts that are two sizes too small because that's what's fashionable. This is why. This is why. Not I anymore. Have We're on issues. the baggy jeans side of the doomsday clock. Okay. Um. But now you can't take a gar- Target gift card and buy video games with it. No. That's. Well, you can buy the physical ones for now. Right. right yeah. Right. 